Hello everyone. Welcome to Fashion with Fabrics. Today in this video I am going to show you how to put a basic sari kuchu. I am going to show it on a blouse piece. You can do it on a sari pallu. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you what all we need for this. We need a cardboard piece like this for winding the thread. A big needle. A small needle silk thread you can take any color jerry thread scissors glue measurement tape and marker now let's see how to make the baby kuchu this is the basic one and it's called as baby kuchu first let us wind the thread around this cardboard piece As I am showing here, you can keep on winding it. Here I have wound it around 90 times. According to your need, you can make it less or more. So if you want thicker one, you can do few more rounds. Okay, now let me cut it here. Now holding one end of this uh, bundle of threads, apply some glue as I am showing here. Apply some more glue and by using your fingers you make it like a char pointed edge so that we can insert it through the hole in the cloth very easily. Now let us keep it aside for 5 minutes for drying. Meanwhile. Uh, let us thread this needle. So I am going to take this golden jerry thread and I am going to thread this needle. Cut this thread at the required length and keep it ready. You can use single thread or double threads also. So. If you want to use the single thread, just pull one thread and make it longer than the other one. So like this we can use the single thread. If you want to use the double thread, make the two edges of the thread the same length and just tie a knot there. So if you use double thread, it will be more strong. And it will look nicer also. Whatever you like, you can do that. Now I have taken a piece of cloth here and I have marked one inch apart. You know, as you can see here, I have marked it. And the distance between two lines it is one inch. Take the big needle and make a hole in the, on the first line. Now take this bundle of threads, it has become dry now and just insert it from the downside. Pull it like this. Uh, make sure all the threads are straight. Now pull it according to the length you need. 
and just hold it tight as I'm showing here. Now take the small needle with the jerry thread and bring the needle through the middle point as I am showing here. Hold this thread like this. See here I am doing it with single thread. Hold it tightly and bring the needle from under the thread. Now bring it along this way and insert it through this loop of thread here. Now tie this knot. Repeat this for three times. Bring it under and then over here then tie the knot. Okay, now next I am going to insert this needle in between the threads here as I am showing here. See, can you see this? Bring the needle from the inside. Now I will tie the knot from this side, from the opposite side. Same way as we did uh, in the other side. Bring the needle under this thread towards your left side. Insert it through this loop and tie the knot. Do this three times. After that, I am going to put this needle in between the threads like you can see here. See, like this, I'm going to insert the needle, pull it tight and keep it as long as the silk thread. Now, according to the length of the threads you want, you can just cut it like this. See, it looks like this. Now, let's do the same thing here. So every one inch, I'm going to do the same thing. Using the big needle, make a hole here. With this method, you can insert the threads very easily. Okay, hold it tight and bring the needle from the middle from the back side. Hold the thread below very tightly. Now I am going to tie the knot as you can see here. I'm going to do this three times. Now insert the needle in between like this and bring it outside from the left side. Here also I am going to tie the knot three times. So the same procedure how we did it for the right side. 
the same way we are going to do it for the left side in the end insert the needle like this in the middle towards down pull it tightly now keep the length of this thread same as the first one and cut it I'm going to show it one more time again here one inch apart make one hole and repeat the same procedure Here you can see that I have taken double thread. The procedure is same. Only the thing is that I have taken the double thread. For these two I had taken single thread and here I have taken the double thread. Again cut these threads to the same length as that of the first two. See it looks like this. Now I will keep on doing the same thing here also. One inch apart. Okay now here you can see I have completed this and it looks like this. Here make sure that all these threads are of same length this one is little bit longer so I will cut it slightly this last one also I will cut a little Okay, now it looks all even. See, this is how a uh, baby kuchu looks like. Here I have used a blouse piece to show it. When you are putting it on the pallu of a sari, then you have to keep the sari upside down. That means the right side of the sari should come down. See the other side of this cloth looks like this. This is the right side actually. So if you are putting it on a sari, you have to keep the sari upside down. Then it will look like this. Otherwise, uh, on this side you can see these knots which will not look so good so that's why when you put it on a sari make sure that it is kept upside down okay now this is the right side of the cloth and this is how it looks like see doesn't it look nice yeah okay friends so this is the method how you can put a baby kuchu for your sari. I hope you liked it and I'm sure you'll try it on your sari. Let me know how was it in this comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.